can go also to a, a example three, which shows uh, another kind of interpolating approach that's available in SciPy, and this will be very beneficial when we go to two-dimensional interpolation and indeed n-dimensional interpolation. And this is the class RBF, remember the capital R. This is a class available in the interpolate package inside of SciPy, and this class is a wonderful addition because it allows uh, interpolation from scattered data uh, in 1, 2, 3, and 4D n dimensions, in fact. It works really well for medium-sized problems, medium-scale problems. If you have large problems, it can uh, sometimes uh, create results that aren't quite optimal. But for medium problems, it's a, it's a wonderful fit and a good tool to learn about. So this, func this uh, example, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, which is define a function and sample it on a, at a few points. This time, I'm going to generate my data points at which to sample the function in a, as random numbers, uniformly sampled between minus 1 and 1. So I'm going to have 10 random numbers generated every time this function runs and evaluate this simple exponential function uh, at those randomly sampled points. And then I'm going to plot those, po those points as red circles and generate a new set of evenly spaced data between negative 1 and 1, 100 data points, and now generate multiple interpolators using the uh, capital RBF function from the interpolate subpackage of SciPy. Now the RBF function takes arguments, it takes the uh, x value, the data points at which the function should be defined, and then the value of the function at those data points to, do, to accomplish 1D interpolation. And then it also has a a keyword called function that allows you to specify different kinds of radial basis functions with which to do the interpolation. The default is a multi-quadric uh, radial basis function, and more information about these radial basis function uh, interpolation approaches can be determined by looking at the RBF function. Let me just import uh, RBF from scipy.interpolate, from scipy interpolate, import RBF. And you can see that in this function string, which is an optional string, these are the radial basis functions. Multi-quadric is this function, uh, r divided by r by some epsilon squared. The inverse multi-quadric is the inverse of that. There's a Gaussian, linear, cubic, quintic, and even and a thin plate as well. Some of these take an optional coefficient called epsilon, and this can also be passed in as a third argument. I'm not going to do that in this example and just take the default epsilon and just change the different kinds and then plot them. Uh, with again a legend to show the differences between them. So if I run this example, example 3, from the IPython prompt that I'm using, it will bring up another figure, and this shows first the randomly sampled points. These data, here I have two x values that are almost on top of each other. If I type x, you can see the different data points, the different x values at which this function is is uh, originally defined, and they're randomly scattered through the interval with negative 1 to 1. And you can also see the interpolating curves that were returned by this uh, radial basis function class. So new func here, each time through the loop, is a different callable object. It can be called, as you see here in the next line, with the new data points at which to evaluate the function. It's a handy interface. Just It's, it's exactly the same interface as the interp1d, except it uses a different method. So we go here and look, and you can see a lot that a lot of these overlap. In fact, uh, the only outliers here, the linear, you can see that it does a linear interpolation between the points. Uh, it, uh, there's a cubic interpolator. You can see this thin plate interpolator, which doesn't particularly do a good job with these data. Well, you can look at the data. The actual function here is a Gaussian-like function, so it's not too surprising that Gaussian radial basis functions do a great job of interpolating this. As you can see, the true uh, and the Gaussian multiquidric and inverse multiquidric are actually very, very similar. I can zoom in on some of this and see maybe a little bit more detail, but you can see those curves are, are overlying the true function value quite well. Let me do a slightly uh, less, another example that only looks at three of the uh, radial basis function approaches, multiquidric, inverse multiquidric, and Gaussian on a new run of this example, so you can see new uh, random sample points were chosen, and then the curves compared. And this particular example has a nice separation between those data points, and you can see some differences in these interpolation strategies. But all of them do a pretty good job of interpolating between these random da randomly scattered data. So I uh, commend the uh, RBF function uh, for your interpolation strategy or your interpolation needs.
as something to play with. As the number of data points gets large, you may have to adjust uh, your use of, of RBF. One thing RBF does have, actually, is, I will mention it briefly, is it does have a smooth argument. This optional argument, if it's greater than zero, which is the default, it can actually do some curve fitting or some smoothing of your data before interpolation. So RBF is really a handy uh, tool and a great addition to SciPy. The authors should be commended, I believe, uh, John Travers, and I hate to name names because I may miss some, uh, but there are there were a couple of authors of RBF, and it's a wonderful addition to SciPy. This kind of contribution really makes SciPy into a community-led effort uh, and uh, continues to grow its capabilities.